Hello everybody, welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube. As you can see, I see this is my Monday Night Raw review. Here, yes, you can see this is not filmed at 9.30 in the morning, in p.m. Not 9.30 in the morning, ha. <laughs> so it's now time to go over the WWE 2K14 roster. I hope you guys enjoy it, although there is some few unnecessary things I want to talk about. So let's go over them, shall we? Now well, on to the roster. First up, we got the Divas Champion, AJ Lee. Joining her is quite possibly the biggest surprise out of this whole roster. Yep, Oksana, Goldust's rookie in NXT Season 3. Actually, I was really surprised at this one. But that's just me, personally. Alberto de Leo. Yes, one of my big stars in the His Own My Player series, which we're going to see more of him in a little while. And actually, kind of fitting, the main feature of this game is the 30 Years of WrestleMania mode. And who will be better to fit that theme than Andre the Giant? Yeah, and tell me about it. Probably in the first get mode... We're going to get to that soon. It'll be this this mode right here. Next, and they just announced this earlier earlier in the day, Antonio Cesaro is in the game. When I first saw it on YouTube during the commercial break, I was like, wait, where's Cesaro? So, yes, Cesaro is in the game. And this, and this next guy, I, I was completely shocked at this one. Batista. And this was, uh, I was really shocked on this one. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about this one. And next, all I gotta say is, Well, it's the big show, da, da, da. Yes, we got the big show from his Road to Glory series, which we have still have yet to film his debut. Maybe tomorrow I'll probably get it up. And next, God, the big show has grown out here. Yes, this is the retro big show. And next to him, Big John Stud. Um, yeah, next guy. There we go. Brett the Hitman Hart. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. How funny is This is the only WWE superstar and Hall of Famer that has his own hockey team named after him. The Calgary Hitman, which a certain somebody in NHL 14 may get it. Next, Brock. Lesnar. Yes, Brock Lesnar is in the game. And if you think that was bad enough, yeah, they had to make a retro of Brock Lesnar too. What is that next? Next to Bro the retro Brock Lesnar, Funk is on a roll. Yes, we got Brodus Clay. Next to him, Chris Jericho. Yes, from the Chris Jericho Road to Glory series where he's in Oregon. That's all I got to say. Next to him, Retro Chris Jericho. I was like, okay, how, how, okay, how many retros are here? Next, Christian, which you guys saw his Q and A, which I forgot to tell you. During the Q and A, the first question he got was, "Do you still talk to Edge?" He grabbed his cell phone, called Edge, and uh, that's all I got to say about that. And speaking of CM Punk, da 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 da, da there he is. But the big question is. Which look are they going to go with him? This one or the uh, Wolverine look? Next to him, Cody Rhodes. Now, this is kind of interesting. Because at SummerSlam, he shaved his mustache. And then here in this photo, he shows the mustache. So, yes. Next to him, and this is kind of kind of fitting after the match at SummerSlam. All I got to say is, you're welcome. Next. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, Daniel Bryan, and I'm hoping to see the beard in the game look really good. Next to him, Darren Young of the Prime Time Players. And first off, I'm proud of him for coming out that he is as the first openly gay superstar. All I gotta say is I'm proud of him for that. Next to him, and I'm really shocked that this guy's in the game. Yep, David Otunga. And, um... Uh, yeah, I thought after 2K13, after 13, I thought he was done. Next, Dean Ambrose. Yes, and a little bit of a spoiler, all three members of the Shield are in. But we'll, we'll get to them in a minute. So the United States Champion, Dean Ambrose, is in the game. Next, Diesel, a.k.a. Evan Nash. 
Next, my boy, my main man, Dolph Ziggler, from from his series in Kent State. That's all I gotta say. Next, Drew McIntyre, after getting screwed out of, after being a DLC in WWE 13, he's in the game now. As an unlockable character. Next, all I gotta say about this one is, Viva La Raza! Yes, it's Eddie Guerrero! Eddie Guerrero! Yep. Next! Christian's brother Edge! Except his best friend. Yeah, we gotta get, to, I gotta get back to these two series pretty soon. Next, as we go down, Goldberg! 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 Yes, it's Goldberg. Next, Heath Slater, who I met at SummerSlam Access, by the way, I did with Drew, Drew, Drew McIntyre as well. All I gotta say is, three MBs in the game. Next, TNA Impact Wrestling General Manager, Hulk Hogan, brother. Yep. Next, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And look who's next to him. Weed the people. Yes, Jack Swagger. Helping his Patriot themes in the game. But, there's a good chance that it will be. Next, JBL! And that's actually kind of fitting. And look who's next to him! Jinder Mahal! Yep, Jinder Mahal. Next, we got the, the true face of the WWE, John Cena! Right next to him, Word Life John Cena Retro! Uh, okay, how many more retros are we going to get here? Next, Justin Gabriel! And next, we got our next diva, Caitlyn. Nice surprise there for Caitlyn. Next next to her, we got the big red monster, Kane. And if that wasn't enough, we got yet another retro, Ka retro Kane. But th although this Kane looks a lot better. Next, we got King Kong Bundy. Next, we got Kofi Kingston, as I talked about earlier in my Raw review. Layla, I gotta hurry this up. We got Lita, Mark Henry, Mick Foley. I want, I'm looking forward to playing him in uh, the 30 Years of WrestleMania World. That way, I get to randomly yell out, "Have a nice day." Natalia, much earned. We got our truth, and now this next guy should be in the Hall of Fame. Randy Savage. <laughs> Randy Savage! We got Randy Orton, which I'm hoping he gets booed in the game, not cheered. Razor Ramon, quite possibly the biggest, one of the biggest surprises in the game. We got Rey Mysterio, who I saw at SummerSlam Access, but I never didn't get a chance to meet him. Woo! Yes, Ric Flair, and if that wasn't bad enough. Yep, another retro. Next, we got Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And remember what I said, all three members of the S.H.I.E.L.D., and here's the proof, here's Roman Reigns. And right next to him, how fitting. Feed right back. Rules. That's nice. The returning Santino Morella. And the last member of the S.H.I.E.L.D., Seth Rollins. Next we got Sergeant Slaughter. The last name is the... Is that a person of Zack Slaughter in my Mike 49324 channel. Go check that out. Gotta get back to him shortly. Soon. We got Shawn Michaels and da 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 da. Another retro. Next we got Seamus. Sin Cara. Stephanie McMahon. What? Stone Cold Steve Austin? The Million Dollar Man, TB Dead DiBiase, although his son got left out in this game. Tenzai or Sweet E. The Rock, which makes no sense because I think personally, I think Rock should be next to Roman Reigns. I know many people make this joke, but imagine just remove Roman Reigns' hair and that protein. What you got? The Rock. And if that wasn't bad enough, da 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 da, another Rock. Then we got The Miz, The Great Khali, Titus O'Neil. <laughs> yep, both prime time players are in the game. Triple H, and if that wasn't okay, I, I'm gonna stop stalling. Yep, we got another retro. The Ultimate Warrior, which I'm probably gonna pre-order the game. 
We got The Undertaker. We got the American Badass The Undertaker. And for the last time, da 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 da, Retro Undertaker. Ugh. We got Wade Barrett, Yokozuna, and the last person, my alter ego. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know it. Zack Ryder. So, what are my thoughts on this roster? I like it. The fact that they added a little more quality in the Divas department. Although, a little more quality would be nice. And a big problem here is, is that Fandango is not in the game. I mean, I like Fandango. I mean, come on. Put him in the game. He debuted at WrestleMania for Pete's sake. Heck, put Curtis Axel in there. Although, I, there's a slight possibility that there's nine more superstars that have yet to be announced. So, I have a feeling Fandango is going to be on there sooner or later. So, there's no Fandango, no Curtis Axel, no Wyatt Family, no RVD, which I was expecting. I was no Wyatt, Wyatt Family, which I predicted. Curtis Axel, I have a feeling he's going to be DLC, most likely. So that's all I got to say about that. Thank you guys for watching my WWE 2K14 video, which comes out October 29th and November 1st in Europe.